Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Cantoraria bosses survive. We are here with a weapon that's been sitting in the vault for a minute. And I've been going through trying to clear out my Terraria mods, you know, delete ones that I'm never going to use, organize stuff. And I came across a weapon that was in the vault here. The instant boss killer, or just boss killer, does a lot of damage, even better than the pwn hammer. Uh, that's not that hard to beat. Uh, my fist IRL might be better than the pwn hammer, potentially. I don't know, I haven't hit a demon altar IRL. Let's see the uh, damage. As you can see, I've been doing testing in background. No, the number is pretty high, but look at this. Great attack speed. The sprite is super tiny. I don't know what's going on with it. The uh, sprite looks like that one Xenoblade weapon. Monado, something like that. Don't play the game. Wouldn't know. But uh, let's, let's see the damage here. Pretty good. You love to see when a weapon hits the negatives. Always a good and great sign. Let's get to it though. Let us get to it. Let's run through some bosses here. You know who we gotta start with. King Slime himself. Oh, beat his ass so bad it started lagging my game. Let's keep going. Eye of Cthulhu, get him out of here. Skeletron, got him. Nice and easy. Bring in the B. Oh, hello. I'm not in God mode. It don't matter. Turning on God mode, though. It does actually matter later on. All right, let's bring in Lepus, Turkor. Bring them in both at once. Chop them up together. Let's go ahead. Let's bring in the Dark Mage next. Boom. We got we to gotta listen to the noise. I wonder how they recorded that noise. Did they, like, strangle someone and that's the noise they made? I don't know. Sounds like they strangled, like, a smurf or something. All right, let's go ahead. Let's bring in the Brain of Cthulhu and Eaters here. Of course, it's going to take a couple hits, as it usually does with the Brain of Cthulhu, since, obviously, multiple eyeballs we got to kill. Honestly, that makes the Brain a kind of unique boss. Same thing with the Eater. The Eater and Brain, they should get their respect. Very easy bosses on a majority of difficulties, but still very unique bosses. Jesus. The game just went into shock right there. I might need a new graphics card. I have a 3080. I might need that new 4000 series. That's a joke, by the way. That's a joke we've been making for such a long time on the channel. I still get people in the comments being like, uh, gamers, actually, it's technically the game that is lagging and not your computer. It's like, bro, it's a joke. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> it's time to fight the wall of flesh let's add another beautiful box down here you'll love to see it slowly but surely i haven't been on this world all the time there's one just like randomly over here but yeah i haven't been on this world all the time there was those couple episodes i went back to the old world completely on accident 100 percent forgot that i even had this world let's go somewhere fun to fight the mech bosses up here on the exodium clusters and let's fight some mech bosses no gotta change up the environment every once in a while i think what i should do uh, if i ever get around to it is like make an area where i fight bosses specific bosses you know how i like fight the um plantera and golem in golem's arena you know i should make a certain area for all of them it honestly might take my effort to teleport around and stuff it doesn't take that much effort i just right click boom i'm there but you know what i mean it would add a little bit more charm to the series yeah speaking about golem plantera we got to make a little visit time to take them on we do golem first there's no reason why i do golem first it just happens sometimes i do plantera first sometimes i do golem you know people start creating conspiracy theories like why does he fight this boss first it happens I, i'm being 100 percent honest duke fish ron i'm actually at the ocean this time to fight him next up empress of light and queen slime just kidding we are getting there though we are getting there slowly but surely we're getting more and more stable versions coming out you love to see it honestly yeah let's bring out the ogre uh i have said that i want to do a 1.4 cantorary bosses survive video honestly maybe i'll do that for the next episode since we're kind of running out of weapons here in terraria 1.3 i got like a weapon or two for 1.4 and i could always you know just pop out the zenith and do an episode on that you know that's a long awaited episode uh the zenith episode let's go ahead let's chop up some wood here some morning wood to be exact that actually sounds painful now that i picture that in my head pumpkin nope caught you and then i'm gonna drop him right on me oh that was a combo that was a nice little combo i hit him with right there you know what this sword feels like this sword feels like a copper short sword like just given the range like legit look at this this little ass range bro <laughs> All right, let's bring in the Ice Queen. Might have to hit her with the same move. Yes, sir. Instead of dropping it on my head, she flies off that direction. So I had to make sure I got her. Martian Saucer. 
don't fly away too far thank you and then uh, let us go ahead bring in Akram here he is at the bottom yes sir oh you know it's so weird like wh what triggers that what triggers him to freeze the game like that every now and then all right and with that done let's fight the dungeon guardian remember this is the uh, fairly strong dungeon guardian since we got calamity installed still died pretty quickly now watch this out i'm switching up the order oh snap game raiders how could you switch up the order let's fight some abyssians man why not and we're gonna keep on switching up the order because i'm gonna fight the ragnarok trio now what the heck is this really a cantorary boss to survive video this is so weird with the order being messed up oh i killed the dream eater already let's make it loud it's honestly not that loud okay now let's fight the cultists and the gang my boys what's up they're like whoa he came here with a crown he must be royalty boom cultist dead and it's pillar speed run time let's go let's go i haven't done this in a minute oh ooh, bad time bad time i don't know it's not world record pace anymore because i messed up that one time oh i feel bad honestly we ruined the world record pace right there and now since i killed the other bosses early i just sit here and wait now so maybe it wasn't a good idea to do it out of order like that moon lord give me head i mean give me the top of your head where your eyeball is you guys know what i meant all right we got to get these hands come bring that damn hand over here you better bring that hand over here i swear to god all right you know what i might have to hit him with some moves here ready Hoo! hit him with a dash move he didn't expect it all right let's fight the mutant where's my boy at what's up my guy come over here stop running i'm getting out of the, i'm getting out of the vehicle you better come the fuck over here i swear to god oh there we go dead one hit and just like that he's dead beautiful all right what am i fighting now i do be forgetting sometimes it's been a big gap since the episodes let's fight providence let us fight providence we are not inside providence biome so technically it should be tougher something like that that was a cool death i'm not gonna lie that was a beautiful death okay let's fight the big boy dragon over here in the big jungle biome big boy dragon more like dead dragon damn you saw his like ghost his shadow what was that <laughs> uh all right fight dog now dog should be fixed there has been an update a calamity update so dog should be fixed i hope uh let's let's see here dog obviously known to have a damage cap but uh, you know some weapons can sometimes sneak in and surpass it calamity has also updated a lot throughout this series so you never know the boss could change and just like that dog has been defeated where's the treasure bag and there's a treasure bag look at that oh man oh man have the times changed right speak about changing times supreme cal has changed a lot over the time of this series and you know a lot of people still question this series they're like why do you do this series when you know like a majority of the weapons are gonna kill everything it's fun to go back and look how many episodes done how many cool weapons we've seen throughout the series and the fact that people question why it's still going on when it's a fan favorite i can't give up this series until there's really like no weapons to do because i enjoy doing this series too i like seeing all the cool and unique weapons it does get boring when some weapons do the same things but it's still fun just look through the playlist of the series man there's so many like colorful different variations unique weapons that we've seen throughout the years literally years at this point like one or two years all right cal stop playing around i need to hit you cal is finally dead it's always weird that when you kill her she has to go through like all her phases very unique thing that happens all right with that done we can fight the next trio here let's go over here let's fight this trio whatever the hell they're called Dradon trio danatos artemis aries okay that didn't work aries apollo this is definitely the frame rate killing trio all right let's just start swinging it's gonna get a little loud with these ones okay i don't know if i can reach the other ones <laughs> i really don't know if i can reach the other ones okay this is what i'm gonna do ready i'm gonna bring him down to me oh i gotta do it fast oh i hit somebody let me try again oh modern day problems require modern day solutions i hit him with that nice little toma greater manipulation combo with the boss killer you love to see it all right with all those dudes dead hopefully i didn't miss anyone uh let's go ahead let's take on the idol on worm boom adult idol on worm what's up <laughs> get your goofy ass out of here and now you guys already know what time it is bill cypher 
Ugandan Knuckles and Ek Death. All right, Bill, show us a good time. Don't kill me. This is scary. I got a melee weapon and I'm going against Bill Cypher. Don't. Whoo, we got his ass. But that was low key scary. He got really close. It's definitely scary using a point blank weapon like this against, you know, demons like Bill Cypher. Now we got to use it on Ek Death and the Ugandan Knuckles. Oh, God. Okay, let's see it. Ah. Uh, I want to try one more time because I feel like we low key could have beat him. All right, we're back in the world. Ek Death again. Okay, never mind. I lied. <laughs> All right, and let us finish off with the Ugandan Knuckles, of course. Let's see what kind of damage we could do. Not enough damage. This dude is a demon. Hey, Ek Death and this dude didn't die this episode. You know, that, that doesn't happen too often. But yes, sir, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the mod and also make sure to leave weapon suggestions, of course. We're coming up to the 50th episode. The 50th episode is where I said I would take the previous Hall of Fame weapons and what other weapons that aren't Hall of Fame. I don't know. We'll see how we do that and use them against the new and improved Ugandan Knuckles because obviously in the past we beat the Ugandan Knuckles a bunch, but now we have troubles. It's almost like every other episode that we have troubles killing it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time.